It is New Year's Eve 2014. We're at House of Moments in Toronto. Event brought to you by Provoke. And of course, they brought only the best pleasure craft. Welcome to Toronto, New Year's Eve. And how does it feel to be here? Um, I just arrived, but already really excited because the club is packed and the venue is really cool. And I've never played here before, and that's always exciting. So, I mean, I've played in Toronto before, I've never played at this venue before. Yeah. You're in full control of the music that you play, and that's why everybody loves you. You've been in the scene for about six years now, right? Mm, like, no. no. It feels that long sometimes to me, too. But um, I actually didn't start touring full time until January 2011, so in. 10 minutes, it'll be three years. Wow. Congratulations to you because your name, Pleasurecraft, has blown up unbelievably. And why don't you tell us about like how you create your music? Where does it come from? Where does your creative mind come up with what you produce? Um, well, usually Kale, my partner in uh, Pleasurecraft, <coughs> It, every project's kind of different the way um, the tracks come about. Uh, some I'll start, some he'll start, and then we'll just send stuff back and forth kind of the same way we did before we even made Tarantula. And um, I know we both draw a lot of inspiration from other types of music that's not just techno. And so, you know, I think that kind of through osmosis just leaks into the music that we make, and I think. I would like to think makes our music a bit more interesting than if we only listened to techno and if we only did stuff that was influenced by techno music. So, so what is it that influences you then that's, that's not techno because you're saying you are influenced by other genres of music. So what exactly is that that personally to you motivates you to create more music? I don't know. I think inspiration can kind of come from anywhere. I mean, can be walking down the street and, and you know, you hear like a little thing and, and you kind of hum it in your head and you kind of transform it into something else and you're like, oh, I you know, want to remember that or whatever. Um, or you hear someone else's song that's, you know, whatever, um, nothing to do with techno music and you're like, oh man, I wonder how that would sound if I took like just like that tiny bit of that melody and like change it to see if like I could stretch it or speed it up or slow it down and see how it would fit within like the realm of a electronic track or something like this, I don't know. I mean, that would be the best way I could explain it. You and another person create music together. Isn't there a conflict sometimes when creating that music or are you very open to each other's suggestions? And the reason why I ask this is because myself and I'm sure everybody else watching this interview right now knows that when you have a vision or you're creative inside and you, you think that your way is the way and then you have to split it with someone else, it's like, no, but you're, you're distracting my vision. So how do you deal with that? How do you guys overlook those situations? Um, I think Colin and I have been pretty lucky actually uh, when it comes to that because of course there's times we've disagreed creatively but it's never been to like critical point where it's like we're doing it this way or one of us is you know getting the fuck out like it's never been like that um, we just kind of I think we kind of know where each person's coming from and both of us we kind of feel like okay I know he's not gonna like this, so I'm not even gonna bother like bringing it to the table, um, that kind of thing. Um, but how, about, how about when you guys have you produced any music on your own, where you've done something, he's done something, yeah. but still release it as something you've done together? Yeah. The, I mean, I, I won't name the tracks, but there were tracks that, like, for instance, we did together this year. There were tracks that came out that only I did. There were tracks that only he did, um, but because they still fit within the realm of are, Pleasure we, craft. are we proud enough and you know to have our name on this piece of music yes and yeah maybe not might not be exactly the sound that people expect from us but that's what I think kind of makes it more interesting as a project and more interesting working with someone else is that it's not just your head 
it's someone else bringing stuff to the table as well. So I think it makes the creative process more interesting rather than more conflicted. I actually really respect that. That's really awesome. So why don't you tell me? It's got to be with the right person, obviously. It has to be with the right person, and it's exactly what I was just thinking. But what do you guys do in regards to the change of the industry, electronic music, from what it was years ago to what it has become today? Uh, I really can't. I, I, I really can't answer that in a satisfactory way, I don't think, because if you're going to follow trends and stuff like this, I mean, you're just going to kind of ride the wave that other people are starting. So for us, it's kind of like we got here from a track that didn't sound like anyone else. We're going to make music that we want to make. Luckily, it's resonated with a lot of people around the world, and we have incredible fans everywhere um, that have embraced, you know, whether it's been a tech house track, we did a deep house track, we did a techno track, we did. I'm really fortunate um, for that, and with our album coming out next year, which is no club tracks, um, like best way I could describe it is like an indie dance uh, album. Um, that's going to take a lot of people by surprise, but to us, that is what we want to do. And if we wanted to make the tracks that we thought, oh, that's the way the industry is going, I mean. I don't think that's we'd be relevant as artists then. Well, that's amazing. Well, I'm glad to know all that. Everybody, if you want to know more about Pleasure Clap, check them out on Love This City TV or check them out on Pleasure Clap's website, which is listed below. One last question. I know you kind of stepped through the door of what's happening in 2014, but just give us an overall, what can we expect from you? Are you still going to be hitting up the clubs, remixing tracks, and coming out with club hits? EDM, electronic music hits. Um, there won't be much uh, in the way of club records because we're trying to finish the album which is non-club records but um, one thing for sure that'll be out soon will be uh, a remix we did for Buka Shade um, with Fritz Kalkbrenner on vocals so I'll play that tonight but uh, yeah we're really excited for that. Alright guys stay tuned we gotta run he's gotta go on we'll catch some epic shots thank you very much thank you Provoke very much and we will see you in the new year. Cheers. Happy New Year.